60 second review, extended review, Chainsaw Man. Now on Crunchyroll. I think it's also available on Hulu as well. So I think it's on Hulu and Crunchyroll. I'm watching it on Crunchyroll though. Um, Chainsaw Man is an anime. We've been waiting for this motherfucker for quite some time. I have not read the manga. So this is my first introduction to this. <clears throat> Honestly, this is a like it's his the opening monologue. You're like, I'm not sure where the fuck this is going. Where where's the chainsaw man shit at? And then it's like, oh, okay. That's cute and interesting. Now, of course, we get to this in like the first uh episode which I love there's not like we're going to take three episodes and no first episode we get to this is what's going to cause blah blah this is what's going to cause this okay cool because our uh, when, when you watch this anime we're not jumping into somebody who already is chainsawed out like and I love that the previews never gave none of the story story And funny enough, it's like, I want to, and my thing is, I don't see it as pitiful. It's humbling how you see somebody who has nothing is so happy with the basic stuff that most humans take for granted. And he's just excited for the, the basics of shit. It's real humbling. And and I find that so great in in this character. Um granted he is also, you know, sexually frustrated, but eh, who would be? Uh hey, he was like he's in his twenties. Yeah, let let him be let him be. I'm not in my twenties and I'm 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 still like I didn't wake up and have sex this morning. That's weird. That's fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, staying on that, there's plenty of beautiful anime girls. <clears throat> I like the graphics. I like the creatures. The very first creature you meet is going to like the weirdest motherfucker. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I love like when I saw the first creature, I'm like, I love where this is going. We're, we're going to stay here. I'm good with this. But you know they're going to like rank up the creatures though. Like you know it. Because you have to have the character go up against real crazy, powered, fucked up, personality type creatures. These devils. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. I, I know that they're going to ramp that up. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I like all our characters along the way. Uh, I think I miss... Mimiki, Mikikini, I know I'm going off the top of my head, but you know, are the pink haired cutie who seems to be in charge of the division. I want to know what she can do. Like, remember, this is, this is episode one through three. What can she do? Like, what is her ability? And she's so calm when she talks, right? Like, does she not be calm all the time? Like, what happens if she loses her temper? Like, is it just, oh, hell, we're going to break loose. Because her calm, you know, her calm is cute and her calm is sexy as shit. It's, it fits her character to be like a boss boss. Granted, she's not like head of the company, but the boss of her division and everything. And being so calm. I fucking love that. Like she's in charge, but not losing her mind, you know, in the car, drinking her morning coffee, thinking about different types of devils and shit. Just call me like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I now going because like I said, episodes one through three, I knew the partner, giving him a partner was going to be a bad idea. Um, but now that I see this, 
I think that because I'm on three, which if you all know three, it ends with his partner uh, revealing some truths and putting herself in a situation and him kind of too. So that situation I think is going to resolve itself in a friendship because she is a devil and he makes that comment dude like had him pinned and it's funny when he has when he's like pinned and shit and fighting getting his ass whooped he's not mad like you notice that like fucking what was it episode 2 when the guy who was supposed to be like showing him around with the sword I can't remember his name at the moment and he kills the dude, the first of uh, the fiends, because then there was like, there's devils and there's fiends, which I like that there's categories of shit. Everything, your right, is not full of devil. And there, there's an in-between and shit. Yeah, I love it. Um, when he had him like pushed up against the window, just pushing his face and he's talking like he's not even mad. He's just kind of like, like he's so like, the, the shit that pushes him is like you saw him angry when he felt like power double crossed him and shit like you know used him and shit but yet that was that emotional aspect which I think that's what this this is going to bring a lot of emotional stuff with him I think that's going to be his thing um, because he was wondering like oh I know how I felt like when I didn't have my puppy with me you know that little flashback he did and he was like I wonder what so and so felt like in that situation and it's like it feels like he just justified her actions so that let's say she's alive they're gonna be friends because he's gonna like purposely not you know maybe cut the thing in half across the stomach and just cut it open and maybe she's alive I, which I think she is, obviously. Because, you know, he kind of ate her whole. <laughs> really. <laughs> Cause he, and he really ate the cat in the cage. So he didn't chew. He just kind of swallowed. And then it's weird because he was like, that taste is in my life. So I'm like, dude, did you kill him or did you just swallow them? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think dude is going to, old boy with the sword is going to lighten up. He's going to be a pain in the ass, but it's going to be something where he's going to be, you know, Denji is going to be forced to, like, really overcome some shit around him. And he's going to be impressed by what he does. He's going to come around. Now, I don't know about, like we said, going back to our pink haired boss. Because when she said that a Denji is her type, it's kind of like, He's really like you're just you just met him. Is he really your type? Or are you just like saying shit like for real, for real? Are you being serious? Because I really you can't. She's so like her feet. She like she's not really emotional, so you can't tell. And like she tied his tie and everything, and she in that calm way in which she talks, it's so soothing. It's like, and you can see it affecting him. Hell, it be affecting me. I'm not in this anime. I'm affected the fuck by it. <laughs> like, oh my God. But yeah, man, the, like for the first three episodes, I, I love the way it's going. I think the first episode was a great way to introduce everything. You know, it's kind of like there's just enough flashbacks. Not too much. It's a fucked up story. Uh, his, 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 uh, not even saying the origin, but I guess we could say origin or whatever. It, it, that's fucked up. Such an unlikely bond and friendship, though. And honestly, that shit got the both of them through life. Him and his puppy. Him and his Pachito. Bonchetto. I, I got to remember it again. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Puppy Saw. Actually, we'll just call him Puppy Saw. Even though he was probably full size too, he probably wasn't even a puppy. Cause when he met him, he was that size. And then when he got older, he was still the same fucking size. So that's uh, apparently the the only size 
puppy soul comes in. Which I'd love to know more about what it was and like why are. I am curious to know if there's an explanation for why these things are there in Tokyo. Like, are they all over the world? Or are they just in Tokyo? Because you remember some animes, some anime shit just be exclusive to fucking Japan and Tokyo. Just crazy shit. So, I wonder about that. Are these things just here? Or are they in America, in Africa, in Europe? Uh, why are they there? Where the fuck did they come from? How the fuck did they manifest? Like, all that shit. I'd love to get the explanation for these motherfucking devils and shit. Like, when did it start? What the fuck is this about? Were they always here? Like, what? 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 Give me some history on <laughs> this. Um, I got a feeling we're never going to know shit about our pink haired boss, though. Like, it's always going to, like, she might lightly bring up something. But I think she'll be like kind of shrouded in mystery for a while and you'll just get like light reveals of her character and her situation. Which I'm completely fine with. I don't want to just be like, boop, vomit all this out. But yeah, Chainsaw Man, I'm loving this shit. Uh, it, it's a, I feel like it's a lot going on in there. I think it's a lot people can take away from it. <clears throat> like into the being humble of the shit you have because the others are fucking living way less and he's he's just happy having fucking toast and jam and butter you know and and sleeping on a bed and being able to eat and not be hungry not hear his stomach hungry like that man transformed for the first time and afterwards we're just passing out and I do like that we're going to learn about his ability as he does it. Like he didn't know his arms were retractable. I mean, his arms. The chainsaws were, were retractable to like, uh, was it episode three? Which I was curious about that too. I, it didn't seem like it made a point for him to have that and have his fingers and stuff on the sides too. So, but now that he knows that, I think that would be interesting. I'm still waiting to see him fight predominantly with the chainsaw on his head. <laughs> like, I really haven't seen him use that too much. I want to see up where like somebody like grabs him and he's like, you he really grabbed me and you're like face to face with me and he just chainsaws from the head up. Like I, I absolutely want that. But yeah, chainsaw man episodes one, two, and three. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Looking forward to it. Uh, the next one, I'll probably do four, five, six. So I'll keep them in uh, stacks of three with my episodes. So if you're not watching Chainsaw Man, the anime is on Crunchyroll. I think it's also on Hulu. You might be able to find maybe full episodes on YouTube if you have subscriptions to nothing. You can always look. I did not look. I'm not promising that. Uh, or the quality of it. But like I said, free trial, Crunchyroll, shit like that. Uh, I think Crunchyroll already has like five episodes out, maybe more. But Chainsaw Man. If you're not watching, start watching. If you are watching, yes, yes, yes. I will be giving these, we'll say weekly. Sunday will be uh, Chainsaw Man Day. So I'll be able to catch up on episode and talk about it by Monday morning. So see you next Monday morning. Chainsaw Man, Crunchy Roll, Hulu. Watch it with me, man. Watch it with me.